I think the most important thing is that I've got uh, quite a lot of business. I've been very fortunate. Uh, people who hardly knew me, only knew me through the meetings, have recommended me, and it turned out it's some very, very good work. One person will connect me to someone else, who will connect me to someone else, and it really works like a spider web. I run a business called English Speaking Networking, which is a networking group for English-speaking business owners who are looking to gain more clients. And um, It really all started because in England, I was a freelance writer, and I basically got all of my business through networking. When I made Alia, I found there weren't very many kind of options here for English speakers, so that's why ESN came from my need and why she was other Olympians need to really network with other Anglos. I went to a session and it was awesome. English speaking networking for me was something that I really believed would help people, that I think people really needed and I felt that I was able to really bring that to the community. It's a warm group of people, a very helpful group of people, a very informative group of people. The sense of familiarity, a sense of reliability, a sense of friendship. It's a positive group, it's a positive energy. That's really the beauty of ESN, is it's really building those relationships that will not just lead to business in the short term, but like these people, even if they leave ESN, even if they leave a country, they're gonna remember this guy's got insurance and will refer him with such pleasure and happiness. Since I joined ESN, um, I feel like my the number one thing I can say I've gained is that my network has just like spiraled out of control. So besides gaining clients, I've given over clients and they've benefited and I've benefited. So the way the ESM works is we have a very fixed structure. So firstly, everyone has 60 seconds to introduce themselves, see who they are, what they do, and what they're looking for. And then we either have a guest or a member speaker, and we alternate between guests and member speakers as well. Um, now, when it's online, we have breakout rooms. So during the meeting, people message me and say, I want to speak with X, I want to speak with I, Y, and I'll put them in breakout rooms together so they can really get to know each other. When it's face to face, it's a little bit different. It's more just about like natural schmoozing. But of course, once you've heard people 60 seconds, you're really able to know who it is you want to talk to, have a chat with them, schmooze with them, um, and then have the option, of course, to have a one to one with them afterwards, have a chat with them afterwards, um, and really get to know them a little bit more and, and really build them into kind of a colleague. I find has been very, very rare and difficult to come by in this COVID world. Uh, and really, the only one that I've actually, actually attended. Uh, which has, has enabled that kind of level of participation is the uh, ESN meetings. I do feel that I have grown and I feel that it has helped me even in this short period of time and I can, it can only grow from here. You know, each session that I attend is always, I always walk away with, you know, learning something new, um, connecting with new people. I think everybody running their own business can benefit from ESN, for sure. Because you're running a business you need to network, you need to talk to people, you need to find people, or you need people to find you. And what, what better way to do it than word of mouth. Since joining ESN, um, not only have I been able to get new clients, expand my network, but I've actually been able to hire a business coach and a social media strategist who helped me um, grow my business in a few different ways that I didn't think were possible. Um, so yeah, the opportunities um, for ESN are pretty endless.